I've got a reading for you from Florence Scovel Shin. Rasha, you asked about me doing some more of Florence's readings. So today, because I'm in Australia and I found my book at my mum's, it is from the Wisdom of Florence Scovel Shin. Fabulous book. It's four books in one. As you can see, it was well loved. And this was the very first book I ever received, even before Neville. Okay, so it goes like this. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Delight thyself in the law, and it will give thee the desires of thine heart. Delight that yourself in the law means to enjoy making a demonstration. To enjoy trusting God means to be happy in following your intuitive leads. Most people say, oh dear, I've got to demonstrate money again, or oh dear, my hunches make me so nervous. I haven't the nerve to follow them. People enjoy playing golf and tennis. Why can't we enjoy playing the game of life? Is it because we are playing with unseen forces? With golf or tennis, they have balls. <laughs> Yes, I don't think Florence meant it quite in that way, but they can see and a goal which is visible to the naked eye. How much more important is this game of life? The goal is the divine plan of your life where all conditions are permanently perfect. In all thy ways, acknowledge him and he will make plain thy paths. Every moment we can link with intuition will give us a definite, a lead a signpost. So many people are leading such complicated lives because they are trying to think things out instead of intuiting the way out. I know a woman who says she has a thorough knowledge of truth and its application, but the minute she has a problem, she reasons and weighs and measures the situation. It is never solved. Intuition flies out of the window where reason can come to the door. Intuition is a spiritual faculty, the superconscious, and never explains itself. There came a voice before me saying, this is the way walk ye in it. Someone asked me if the reasoning mind was ever any good. The reasoning mind must be redeemed. Trust in spiritual law and it will be given to you. Your part is to be a good receiver as in a good receiver of the intuition, the messages, decoding, having fun, following the little pebbles that fall out of the bag. So prepare for your blessing, rejoice and give thanks and it will come to pass. I have weapons ye not know of, I have ways which will astound you. So how are you defaulting back to the fear it's not going to happen. When's it going to happen? How can it happen? Blah, blah, blah. All these things play the game of life. Start to follow intuitive leads. Start to listen to inner guidance. Start to work on feeling good about yourself. The better you feel, I think, the better the signs come through because your receptor, your radar, your antenna can pick up the signals, you see. So I am going to be reading bits and pieces out of Florence. She is my first love, even before Neville. <laughs> she's the one that came to me first this book was immensely immensely helpful as you can see there's lots of stories that I have marked and I will read more of them to you and uh, a big thank you to Florence I will put the links down below to her books and I will also put there is a playlist that I started some time ago about Florence and haven't added to it for quite some time. So I will be revisiting that for you and lots of love, everybody. And I will see you as always in the next YouTube. I also did a Q&A video today. I'll be uploading that next for those of you that want to join in on the free Q&As for April 2021. Lots of love.